It's, it's, it's a massive problem. At the national level, we spend something like a billion pounds every year to clear up something like 30 tons of litter which is dropped on our streets and our open spaces and parks. It creates a huge problem for cities. It damages our environment, damages wildlife. It is uh, detrimental to people's health and well-being, communities' well-being. It also blights neighborhood and creates a spiral of decline in localities. So it's an issue that I'm very pleased to see that the council is launching a campaign to try to tackle it. But it needs all the help that it can get from all the sectors, the businesses and the communities as well. Well, the causes of litter are multiple, so there isn't a single cause or a main cause. And, um, if we st and some of these causes are to do with individuals' attitudes and behaviour, and others are to do with social and structural issues. So, um, at a very wider level, the broader level, one of the underlying causes of waste generation in general, and to some extent littering, is the way we produce and consume um, products. Uh, as you know, products are um, wrapped and packaged and repackaged again in multiple layers, some of which are non-biodegradable and disposable, and they are um, designed to be used once and to throw away after a very short period of time, and some of that throwing away ends up on our streets and our roads. Then another reason for, um, for increasing problem of uh, littering, which by the way is, as a, uh, is on the rise, recent surveys have shown that litter is increasing, um, is that we, is the fact that apparently we in Britain are the largest um, in European countries largest consumers of um, eating and drinking on the move. And that in itself creates a lot of littering. Is that due to busy lifestyles? It's the busy lifestyle, particular lifestyle. I mean, especially in larger cities, we can see how many times we've seen people walking with their cup of coffee on their way to work. And some of those empty cups don't end up in a bin and they, you find them on the streets and on our pavements. Um, but the most difficult uh, thing to, to, to tackle with regards to uh, littering is what we may call habitual littering. And that is, this is the kind of littering that some people do without even thinking about it. So they just do it as, as, as a habit. Or they do it without thinking that they are doing anything wrong. And that is because either they think that this is not an issue, it's not a socially unacceptable behavior, everybody else is doing it, or their friends are doing it, or they do it because they don't know the harm that littering causes to the environment and to communities and to the health and well-being of people. So it is that kind of habitual littering which is very difficult to tackle at, and it needs kind of concerted efforts from various people to address it. I think if we, if we are going to, to address the problem of littering, and especially that kind of littering that people do. And sometimes those people, by the way, I forgot to say that they do it because they don't think it's, they, they don't think it's their job to clean up after themselves. They think that, you know, it's the responsibility of somebody else, you know, whether it's the cleaners or the council or somebody else. Um, changing that kind of um, littering is um, needs kind of a effective campaigns, if you like. It's, it could be part of the re part of the answer to the problem. 